Welcome to another edition of California Championship Wrestling. How are you? I'm the voice of California Championship Wrestling, Barry Richards. And the man doing color with me this evening is Professor, Professor Toro Tanaka. Tanaka. Right. Professor, why aren't you wrestling this evening? Because I'm injured on my right leg, I've torn my right knee ligament, that's why. How did that happen? Uh, too much long story, I don't talk about things. Okay, well, I tell you, we got some serious matches coming up for you. This is the real wrestling show, California Championship Wrestling. After these words, we'll be back with our first match. California Championship Wrestling is rolling. I tell you, we've got the hottest matches, and we have some new talent here. The Golden Star against Carlos Mata. Are you familiar with the Golden Star, Tanaka? I don't know the Golden Star, but he looked like one Golden Star to me, though. All right, let's go up to the ring. Here's okay. Leon. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Your official is Don Lastra. They definitely like Don here. Oh, he's the referee at night. In the ring at this time, from Mexico, weighing 190 pounds, Golden Star. Here's the boy, Golden Star, on his side. And now, he's making his knees. way to the ring area. Also from Mexico, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carlos Mata. Thank you, know. Carlos Mata is definitely the favorite here. Yeah, I know he is, but you know, little, little dynamite coming, little packages. This uh, Golden Star might be one of those uh, dynamite packages. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Making his uh, initial appearance here on California Championship Wrestling. Yeah. It's the Golden Star against Carlos Mata. I thought that was Spider-Man. Could be, could be. I think he walked up the side of the arena when he came in. <laughs> he looks like he's got webbed feet. Oh, yeah, maybe so. I don't know. <laughs> looks like he came out of the comic books. They say you came out of the comic books, Professor Tori Tanaka. Yeah, sure. I come out of funny comic books. That's why I, I own all the comic books. All right, let's see what the deal is here. They lock up here. We'll test the strength. Clean break again. California Championship Wrestling, where you see the best sportsmanship like wrestling anywhere. The body lock there. Reverse body lock. Uh -huh. Test the strength uh -huh. there. Looks like Mata's breaking it on the Golden yeah, Star. Mata, Mata had, oh, the front leg dive. That's good. That's very good. A little takedown. Yeah, he's smart. You got to watch the screen carefully now because you miss the action and you blink your eye. You miss him. Hey, oh, nice long arm drag. These dudes are quick. Quick. Uh, I see Mata laughing because I think uh, he knows his other boy is a little scientific too. There you go. Nice execution by Mr. Right, Mata. right. Shoulder toss. Nice shoulder toss. The golden star in the mask, Carlos Mata in the yellow trunks. Little we'll step over toe hold now. Golden star is out of that now, and Mata's got a uh, hammerlock. Right, a strong hammerlock, man. I see the pressure being applied from ringside. Uh, yeah, that hammerlock, I know. <laughs> You've wrestled both of these guys, right? Oh, these boys, I play with them. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Professor Tanaka doing color. Yeah. I'm Barry Richards, the mouth of California Championship Wrestling. I'm glad they say you call yourself mouth. A lot of people call me the mouth. The voice of California Championship Wrestling. You let me know. We have Tony Montana on the floor here. A little headlock action there by Carlos Mata. You know these guys with masks are at uh, distinct uh, disadvantages because they can't see out of the masks. Like I told you, they wear masks maybe because they're ugly. They don't want to show face. Oh. Nice body block, but not uh, good oh. enough not to knock him off his feet. Oh, jeez. Oh, like a little featherweight. Oh, jeez. Nice drop on the chest. He's going for a pinfall. I don't think he's going to get that. Step over leg lock now by the yeah. Golden Star. Applying that pressure on Carlos Mata. There's one way to get a broken leg, broken knee. Somebody in the audience is screaming, take off his mask. I'd like to see that myself. Well, if you take off mask, I think everybody, get, everybody go to sleep. <laughs> what do you call mass hypnotism? Mask hypnotism, all right, not bad. Yes.
California Championship Wrestling. Ah, <laughs> nice, nice and neat scissors. Good neck scissors, good yeah. neck scissors there from Mata. Yeah. Seen some really yeah. nice moves, quick moves yeah. here from easy, both of these guys. Easy, easy for him to take a neck scissors at the time because man, the same size. You know? Right, he'd have a little problem doing that on you, right? Yeah, he have a big problem. So far, it seems uh, pretty evenly matched here. You can't tell uh, who's doing what. I mean, who's, uh, who's the getting edge, up? The edge is a little bit on the Martha side because he's a little bit more heavy and uh, more experienced than the Spider-Man, I think. <coughs> now, that's a nice move. That, what do you call that move? Uh, that move, I call that dozy uh, uh, do. <laughs> I certainly do. I certainly do. I've never seen that move before, but yeah. the... Whatever it was, he uh, spun himself around and almost got out of it. Yeah, nice, those, those, those. Yeah. nice arm toss. Oh. Martha came back, retaliated good here. It's California Championship Wrestling. Uh -huh. It's going to be a pinball. Uh -huh. The Golden Star got out of it, though. Yeah. You know, we got girls coming up later on. Oh, girls? Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Now, what is the crowd screaming about? I don't know. They're always screaming like mad people. Always a capacity crowd when California Championship Wrestling comes to your area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice headlock here. <laughs> nice uh, flying, nice kick, yeah. right, nice flying drop kick there. Yeah. Toss into the ropes there by the Golden Star. Reverse toss now, Mata tossed him into the ropes. Mata's got a little headlock, but he missed. <laughs> Almost a pinfall. Almost a pinfall. If you miss that, you blink your eye, you miss that, that was really quick. These guys are very fast. A flying headbutt. Yeah. Carlos Mata's on a roll. That's it. Yeah, Carlos right Mata on. won the match. <laughs> Carlos Mata made short work of the Golden Star. Uh, Let's go up to the ring for the official announcement. Here's Leon Tillis. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner with a flying body press, Carlos Mata. <laughs> Let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, slow mo of this. You want to see the replay of this? Yeah, with this, with this I like to see. Yeah, right. And then they shake hands at the end. That's great. You don't see that today. Oh, these are two gentlemen. So that's why. Right. right. They wouldn't wrestle you. Look at oh, that. Oh, that's a leap frog. <laughs> right. Come good, back. Good leap frog. Oh, he gets that flying. Fly, uh, flying headbutt. That's no, it. No flying headbutt. He, he gave a flying. He never came back from that. One, two, three. We'll be right back. Yeah, we come right back. California Championship Wrestling, we've got an Australian tag match here. And this is going to be uh, oh, one for be. everybody to uh, check out. It's Armstrong against Ripper and the Los Mexicos. So uh, let's go up to the ring and start the action. It's a tag team event scheduled for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. In the ring at this time, from Mexico, with a combined weight of 470 pounds, Los Mericos. <laughs> and their opponents now making their way to the ring area. Introducing first, from the Bronx, New York, weighing 237 pounds, Ripper Savage. And his partner from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 239 pounds, Jack Wildman Armstrong. What is this?
have arrived. Crazy. All right, that's uh, Ripper's sister, Eva Savage. I think she's a wrestler also. <laughs> and uh, Armstrong is kissing his manager here. Oh, he's a kissing bandit. Now, I, I tell you, you know, the ban has been lifted on Ripper. Ripper bit somebody's ear off. And uh, oh, they, yeah. they, they had him banned for a while. You see, you talk about me being a uh, wild. There's a man also a cannibal. Well, I don't know. He's, he's got a body and a half on him. He's, he's, uh, he's unbelievable there with them pecs. Uh, he got the balloon in there. <laughs> he's got a balloon in there. Well, are you trying to tell me that he pumps his muscles up with balloons? Yeah, that's what it looks like to me, pump muscles with balloons. I don't know. Both of them look pretty good there, posing. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have to see what happens here. That's his sister. His sister. <laughs> right. I think his sister's going to wrestle also. His sister look like uh, his sister better looking than Frankenstein. Better looking than Frankenstein? Yeah. Looks like an interesting uh, match coming up here. Ripper Savage against Wild and Wild Man Jack Armstrong against the Los ah. Mexicos. Los Mexicos, I should say. And this is going to be a very interesting match. All right, now who is yeah. this, Medic 1 or Medic 2? That always confuses me. Well, uh, this must be uh, Medic 2. Because Medic 2, I don't know, he got, he's a uh, he's, uh, face mask. Uh, a little bit uh, shiner than uh, number one face mask. <laughs> All right, they're off and running there. Now, I don't know if the audience can see this, but Ripper's got a chain. Well, we're, we're, I don't know. Let's see if the camera can get Ripper's chain there. What he's holding in back of him there, that's definitely illegal. They're going to have to start using two referees when they have characters like... Right. Now, I see he's chained. They're going to have to start using two referees here when they have people like Ripper wrestling. What the chain? I don't, I don't see no chain. There it is. That's like brass nuts. What happens when you hit somebody with a chain like that in your hand, uh, Tanaka? <laughs> you don't ask me. You ask opponents. Do you use chains? No, I don't use nothing illegal. He hit him with the chain, but he, he just slipped the chain to his sister. I don't, I don't know if the um, cameras can pick that up. I think uh, they've uh, got an awesome tag team here. Ripper and Armstrong together. Well, you know, when you got two crazy men inside there, they might make something. <laughs> now, your partner left the area. You have to find yourself another tag partner also, Tanaka. Uh, who's my partner? Well, uh, Steve Strong was your partner for a quick minute uh, You know why he left me? Why? Because he just found out that uh, he he can accomplish, uh, uh, he wants to go out and accomplish everything on uh, on his, himself. Well, it's another tag now. This is uh, medic number one in there. But yeah. I, I heard that Strong uh, was run out of the area by uh, Rivera and the Indian, but uh, we won't get into that right now. We're watching Armstrong and Ripper against uh, medic one and medic two. two. CCW, um, California Championship Wrestling. Barry Richards with Professor Tanaka. And now the tag is made to Ripper Savage. Let's see what Ripper can do here. This is the Ripper's first bout since uh, they've lifted the band after he ripped his ear yeah. off. No, I think he bit somebody's ear off. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if he bit somebody's nose off tonight. Complete mayhem when Savage wrestles. Now he's got his sister at ringside. A rake across the eyes there, just uh, brutally stepping on his face, caving his chest in. The Bronx Barbarian, Ripper Savage. <laughs> and Armstrong has got him now, and he's raking his eyes across the, um, the ring with that mask. On the ropes of burn. Looks like they may be learning from the school of Professor Tanaka. No, 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 no. When I teach lesson, I teach clean lesson. <laughs> I understand that. I understand that, Professor Tanaka. Got, got him hung up in the ropes there. The tag has been made. Armstrong's back in. Got to watch Armstrong. Armstrong's very cagey. Veteran wrestler. Been around a while also. Los Mexic in the white masks. In the ring on the mat right now is Jack Armstrong. 
right into a foot yeah. there. These are medics. It's the only way they can get the river and the Hong Kong is to work a fight with each other. Tag him, tag out, tag him, tag out. Well, that proves that they're a good team. That's right. Right, Ripper's in there. Ripper got him off. <laughs> Ripper's sister's still at ringside. I don't think yeah. you see that. She's still there. And she's got that chain. Right, I definitely see the Ripper miss the uh, tag. Did you see the Ripper miss the tag there, Tanaka? Uh, apparently, no tag. I think uh, medic number two now is uh, gouging his eyes, giving Armstrong a little medicine, a little tit for tat. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. But uh, Mr. Ripper always interfered, though. Ripper's trying to interfere. Ripper's sister's there holding the chain. I think our medical kind of hungry. He's biting. He's biting? Yeah. Ripper's coming from behind there, trying to get him off. I guess, uh, I guess he is uh, trying to bite him there. Right, Ar Armstrong has been busted open. He busted him up. Medic number one tags off now. Now he's working on that open wound on his head there. Toss up against the rope. Ripper's in now. And uh, I don't know what Ripper is uh, doing in there because Ripper hasn't the, uh, the illegal tag yet. The ref ought to take Ripper out. Right, they're both working on him. Doing some damage to his midsection there. Ripper's sister's up in the ring, jumping uh, for joy there with the chain. Ripper's sister looked like uh, she stepped out of a Who's Who Punk magazine in 1983. Armstrong has been knocked out of the ring. And now Ripper is in the ring. I don't know if you can see what's going on here. Now they both got him. They both got, uh, they're both going to do some work on uh, Ripper. Ripper moved. And uh, the one medic knocked the other medic out the ring. Ripper looks like he's mad now. And uh, Ripper's trying to get him right over here. Go on. Go on. I don't know why they rang the bell. What do you think happened there, Tanaka? That is something I missed. Well, yeah. I don't know I missed something, but I missed something. That I, I definitely missed something also. I don't know what happened here. One left by here, one over there. You can uh, keep eye balls on everything. Ladies and gentlemen, due to a countout, your winners, Jack Wildman Armstrong and Ripper Savage. All right, let's see the replay of that, because I definitely missed that. Did you miss that, Tanaka? Yeah, I missed that. All right, too. here's what's happening. Let's see what happened here. Now they go, oh, they got them both out of the ring. They counted them out. I think that's what happened, right? Oh, uh, yeah, wait a minute. Let's see what happened now. Oh. Okay, he stop him. Ruffy. Oh, yeah. We're going to pause for the cause. We're going to pay for the light bill. We'll return to burn in moments on CCW. Later. Now, this match, I am ready for this match, Snaka. This is Charlie the Golden Cat against Ava Savage, Ripper Savage's sister. Well, and she sure looks like Savage's sister. And they're already in the ring. Let's see what's happening. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is one fall with a 20-minute time limit. In the ring at this time, from the Bronx, New York, weighing 140 pounds, the Mistress of Doom, Ava Savage. <laughs> Not too bad. And now making her way to the ring area, being 
led down the aisle by her manager, the Carefree Kitten, from Beverly Hills, California, weighing in at 135 pounds, the glamour goddess of wrestling, the Golden Cat. That's the Carefree Kitten taking the clothes from the Golden Cat there, posing, and a uh, little super freak action, uh, if you ask me, Tanaka. What do you think? <laughs> my Avos, my Avos is over one corner to another corner. And Ava Savage uh, looks like she's, uh, I don't know, like she came out of an atomic bomb blast and uh, lived through it. You look like a bomb battle, okay? This is going to be a nice match. Uh, we've never seen Ava Savage wrestle before. We've seen uh, Charlie the Golden Kitten, so... Uh, Let's uh, see what the deal is. We have uh, one of the Samoans over there with the golden um, cat and the uh, kitten. And, and everybody's opposing, everybody's flexing. You put two pussy cat together, boy, you got a big fight. Well, that's the manager right there. That's the carefree kitten. Oh, cool. She looks real good to me. All pussy cats look good. All right. As Sylvester would say, I thought I saw a putty cat. All right, uh, the lady with the red hair or the three-tone hair, pink hair too, she wants to shake hands now, is Ava Savage. And of course, River's in her corner there with the chains. You gotta watch River at all times also. No telling what he's liable to do. Rupert, who's Rupert? Ripper, Ripper. Oh, 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 oh. Wake I, up, wake up and smell the coffee. I thought that was Ripper. I thought you were talking about another cat. She spit in her hand. Her manager's there, the carefree kitten. She's screaming once you go back to the zoo. It's women's heavyweight action here. Ava Savage against Charlie, the Golden Cat. I think I know what she's gonna do with that. She's spitting his glove. I think now she's gonna rob him on her feet. You think so? Yeah, I think so. You get a little tacky over there. California Championship Wrestling. That golden cat better watch out. She's it's standing flat-footed now. Is this a test of strength? I think that's a test of fall. <laughs> <laughs> test of fall. And uh, Ava thinks that she's so strong that she doesn't have to do anything. She's yawning. This is boring to her. Now she wants the other hand. They got Michael Jackson gloves on. It's a good lockup then. This is the real test of strength. The Golden Cat looks like she's going down. Looks like Ava Savage is stronger. Whoa. I don't know now. Both of them are very tense. Their arms are shaking. This is what you call cat paws. Cat paws? Cat paws. You know, when cats fight each other, right. they like to fall with each other. All right. Tali is ready for action. She's that working that arm. That was a very smart move. Not bad. Uh, Ava Savage did a little reverse. <laughs> Got 
Got her by the hair, she's pulling her hair also. It's Ava Savage with the three-tone hair against uh, Charlie the Golden Cat. Well, uh, and now she's, uh, Ripper's telling her to uh, throw her into the buckle there, or throw her into him. Of uh, course, he shouldn't be allowed to be at ringside. You know what? Why do you mean he's not allowed at ringside? She got the, she got the other guy on the ringside, so he can't do it. A lot of people think that your manager, John Tobas, shouldn't be ringside either, uh, Tanaka. Oh, he never ringside. He only stood down below the ring, but now it's not ring. Now, this is illegal with two managers on ring. No, oh, that's illegal. I uh, think I think Rafi must be, but I think Rafi needs glasses. <laughs> yeah. She's pulling her hair there, and the Ripper is smiling at this action. Yeah. Rafi, 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 not to have too much power at all. I don't understand, Rafi. That's a hair fool. The referee's not even trying to get him to break the hold. No, that's why I don't understand. And every time they say Tanaka pull here, see? Look, same thing there, the... Is that why you keep your hair short, so nobody can pull your hair? My hair long. All the time people pull hair. No good. <laughs> like pussy cats. Like all kind of pussy cats. Right, right. Little action now. Body blocks by Ava Savage on Charlie the Cat. Head toss. Carefree Kitten's getting excited. I don't know, it could be a pinfall. It is! Oh. What, a, what an easy match! What an easy oh. match! Surprise oh. me! But now Ava oh. Savage don't think it's over. I guess not. White right, Ripper's in the ring. Ava Savage don't want to give up. And the kitten is in the ring. I don't know what to happen. I don't know. Charlie the cat won, but I think she hurt her arm when she won. No, no. Now, now Ripper's pushing the ref out of the way. And well, Ripper is definitely going to uh, deck the ref here. And uh, Charlie is throwing the uh, Ava Savage still around, working on her. And now Ripper and the ref are into it. And uh, Char Charlie the cat. Right, and the kitten is just standing there in, in amazement. Tanaka sitting here with his mouth open. Say something, Tara. I don't know. I'm flabbergasted. Right, I mean, it's, it's mayhem, complete mayhem here. No one knows what's happening. The match is over. Oh, gee, we're many. That's where they're right over us here. And Ava's still working on her. Charlie the Cat won. I think Charlie's gonna pin her again. For the second, there you go, for the second time. She won two matches in a row there. Now definitely, now, now, right, Ripper, Ripper, get it out, Richards. I'm so excited I can't talk. Ripper is trying to deck the referee. I think he did deck the referee. You know something? <laughs> I think Mr. Referee, uh, <laughs> of course the crowd don't agree with Ripper and uh, Ava Savage. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed winner of this match, the Golden Cat. Hi, this is a Ripper, and I'm here with what appears to be two beautiful women, but actually, these are two women wrestlers. Well, they're actually star athletes, you know. This is the Golden Cat and her manager. The Carefree Kitten. Okay. And by the way, sir, we happen to be ladies. Well, what? First and foremost, 
if you know what I mean. Well, well, let me ask you one question. If you're ladies, what are you doing in the wrestling ring? How come you ain't home cooking meals? I'll tell you, if you were my babe, I would straighten you out. You wouldn't be in no wrestling ring. You would be following the Ripper. You'd be proud. You'd say, that's my old man in there in the ring, uh, busting heads. You wouldn't want to be in that ring. All you'd want to do is serve the Ripper and put on my shoes in the morning and bathe me at night and take care of me. Would that's right. This? Would you believe this man? Oh my God. Are, are, we, are we on TV? Yes, oh, that's right. That's right. You're on television. Oh my God. Now, now, I'm My mother's not supposed to know this, so oh, try to keep it close. Oh, it's not us, Mom. It's not it. Really. Well, hey, well that's very cute and everything, but I, I just want to know one thing. What are you doing in the ring anyway? You know, with that sexy, them sexy looks and everything. Can I ask you something, What's my dear? That? What are you doing in the ring? You're not a gentleman, and you're not a wrestler. You're just a mean, a street fighting savage. That's all. Well, I, I thank you very much. I think me and her are going to get along. I like these kind of babes that when you smack them, they smack you back. I'll tell you something. I think me and you are going to get along just fine. You're both my kind well, of babes. Let's put Zuda that you out of, all right? right? I mean... We'll return in moments to more action on CCW. The action continues as California Championship Wrestling does it again. More of the best wrestlers in the world. This next contest is one fall with a 15-minute time limit. In the ring at the present time, hailing from New Mexico, weighing 250 pounds, the Great Goliath. And making his way to the ring area at the present time from Pahaska, Oklahoma, weighing 242 pounds, Chief. James Strongbow Jr. He's going to have to uh, take some lessons from Mr. Goliath. All right, let's go to the action here. In California Championship Wrestling, it's Chief J. Strongbow with his tomahawk chop against the great Goliath. Chief, have too many medicine men talk to him. I see that war dancer. That psychs himself up, man. He does that little dance, turns himself around twice, and he's got all the uh, old ancient Indian spirits in him, and he's ready. <laughs> He stands like one proud Indian, no? Right off the reservation. Yeah. He don't look like one off the reservation, what to me? I saw the concessionaire here wouldn't sell him any liquor outside. I don't know what that's about. Uh, they go crazy, that's right. Oh, that's a good Nice take to right, right. Nice take down by the chief. That's too smart, I don't know why it's moved, though. Chief working on his right leg there, working on Goliath's right leg. You know, the only way to work on a big man, you gotta start him low, chop him low, you know. Chief J. Strongbow, for those of you who aren't familiar, his father was a great wrestler for years and wrestled uh, the man doing color here with me, Torah Tanaka before, uh, Professor his, Tanaka. His dad was a very number one tough not special. Very strong, very scientific. We had our moves. Doing a little action on him there on his uh, ankle. I think that was an ankle crush. No, uh, that was more like a knee crush. So from my vantage point, it looked like an ankle. Well, uh, maybe so. Little hair, Goliath's pulling the chief's hair. Well, he's just giving a hair massage. A little hair massage? Is, that what, head massage, yeah. is that what you call it? Uh, that's what I call it, hair massage. Yeah, uh, he's trying to get that All right, knee. That was the knee right there. I he's, did see the knee there. To work the knee down. He, he's working on that knee, on, on those knee muscles, trying to tear that ligament. 
when you get the knee ligament torn, they're very bad, they're very sore, very, very sore. The best action in the world on television anywhere. Anywhere, I'm talking about CCW, we've got it for you. Other people talk about what great matches they give you on television. We don't say it, we show it to you. We give it to you. All, all action. Look at the pain on the Chief's face at this moment. I don't know, I think he's smiling for he some kind of Colgate or toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen you in commercials, incidentally. You, you brought that to mind. You're in Coca-Cola commercials, right? No, I don't do no commercials. Oh, you don't do commercials? Someone no. looks like you, right? Yeah. Goliath knocking the wind out of him, knocking the wind out of uh, <laughs> Chief J. Strong, a little choked by Goliath. That's what you call a very good scientific move. Oh, I think Goliath has uh, gone cannibal on us. He's uh, biting him a little bit there. Well, that's, that's a good way to uh, relieve the air from getting to your head. That's a smart thinking. Very that's smart, smart thinking. Smart thinking. Yeah. Smart thinking. thinking on Goliath's part, not too smart on the Chief. <laughs> that's right. Gouge to the eyes, right to the eye. No, 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 no. That was, a, that was a tap on the forehead. The audience is trying to get the chief riled up. Uh, if he gets himself in that war dance, he's definitely going to psych himself up. He's got those muscles. Uh, those muscles are called. I don't know what muscle, but they hurt. I know, because I had that many times on me. And that looks like an out now. Well, I guess it's not a choke. Is that cutting the air off to him? No, uh, no, 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 no. It's just an upper muscle in your trapeze area here. Yeah. I hear everybody going, oh, 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 you know, like, hi, how are you, hi, how are you? They're, trying, trying, to, they're trying to make him see the signal so that he can come back to life. Booth here. Goliath oh, has got a little choke yeah, on him. Good one, good one. That's good a, uh, good one. that's a. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, right, step right on his face here we there. Go, here we go, Right on his face. Hey. Uh, uh, he's definitely into the war dance. That pat in the tomahawk chop. There he goes. Whoa. Um, I almost took his neck off. Almost took his neck off. The Chief is working on him. Oh, this could be a pinfall. Good. Close, but not close enough. A two count. The Chief's not letting up. A knee to the stomach. Now he's got him in a sleeper. Oh. This could be curtains for Goliath. <laughs> Hillary Johnson is checking all the acts now, man. The sweat's rolling off his brow. That's the promoter. Promoter's tently looking at it. The Chief could be going out for the night. I think he is out. I think he's put him out. No, the Chief's making a comeback. Now, you've put the sleeper on a lot of people. Of course, you apply it a little differently because you're in the martial arts. That's Does right. that sleeper look like you could uh, put him out? Uh, my sleeper is fast. My sleeper fast way to put out. Definitely pass. And somehow we missed the action. Goliath got busted open here. Goliath is bleeding. <laughs> and uh, the chief uh, is in a semi daze. Semi daze there. Somebody better send him a smoke signal, wake him up. A gouge of the nose by the chief. Back to that tomahawk chop. And Goliath gives him the chop too. Now they're standing toe to toe. They're battling it out. And Goliath throws the Chief out of the ring. The Chief is down at ringside. And now the Chief is bringing Goliath out. Working on that leg on the side of the ring. They're battling outside of the ring. This could be a double disqualification. Right into the fans. Right into the ring. Watch this, dude. Watch this here. 
I see it. They're battling up the arena. Unbelievable what's going on. That's even I'm well, well, mad. I'll hey. tell you what, we're going to go away for a commercial, and we'll find out what happened. We'll be right back. All right, we're going to stay here. The Chief is in the ring. Uh, I don't know where Goliath is. Uh, Goliath's my man. The Chief blow his head off. Yeah, well, the Chief loses his head that time. Someone is telling me that the Chief knocked Goliath out in the bathroom. Well, we don't know what's happening. Let's go up to the ring right now. Double disqualification. Get back in here, Goliath, the fuck of man. Come on. The Chief is hanging him out. He's dying to get him back in here. He chased him into the dressing room. Ah, uh, Mr. Goliath, I think he's a very smart man. He know what to do. All right, this, all right, this, the, chief, the Chief is going into his war dance. I don't know what good that's going to do. I think the Chief will be fusing to leave the ring. Let's go for a replay of that and see what happened here. Check this out in slow-mo. All right, the Chief drags Goliath out of the ring here. Yeah. He gave him a good leg on the, on, on the turnbuckle that day. That happened to me many times. That hurt very bad. Yeah. All right, he's, he's doing some serious damage to his left leg. It's Chief Jay Strongbow Jr. right here on California Championship Wrestling. And I understand that uh, you and Victor Rivera kind of like ran uh, Steve Strong out of the territory with your patented tomahawk chop. What was the real story on that? Well, first of all, Barry, how you doing? It's good to see you. Uh, Victor and I have tag teamed together as brothers in this so-called uh, war between the alliance of Tanaka and, and Tolos and Steve Strong. If you remember a few weeks ago on television, and it was shown through hundreds of thousands of people's homes. These guys not only ripped our foreheads and bones and everything else apart in that ring, but they disgraced us amongst all of our people. And I'm telling you something, Steve Strong, I don't care where you're running to, I don't care if you went to Kalamazoo or to the other side of, of the world, you're gonna pay the price of what you did to Steve Strong, uh, to Victor Rivera and myself because this doesn't go on in professional wrestling. You wrestle, you pin a man. You don't go out there and try to butcher him to death. This tomahawk baby sharp, and you're gonna feel the brunt of this when I get my hands on you. That's right, he's got that patented tomahawk chop. And of course, your father uh, was a tremendous athlete, and he's still, is your father still wrestling? My father's retired now. He's, he's working for a few of the wrestling groups here in the country. Uh, my dad's still staying active with the business, but he's just not putting the tights on anymore. I'm continuing the name. I'm doing my best to, to hold the Strombo image up, and I want everybody to know that this Indian baby's not giving up for anything. That's right. That's Chief J. Strongbo, and uh, wherever you are, Steve Strong, they definitely are going to find you and uh, take care of business on you. Tolos, too, baby. You're going to pay the price for what you did to us. All right. Well, Tolos is here, so well, we, we got a shot at getting uh, Tolos. Steve Strong uh, just completely chickened out and left the entire area. This is California Championship Wrestling. We'll be back with more. Were those ladies hot? What, I mean, uh, River's uh, sisters? <laughs> yeah, the savage girls. That's mm. what I call a savage girl. But this uh, pussycat girl, uh, uh, the golden cat, the she's, right. a, she's pretty sharp too, you know. Hey, we got the best looking women wrestle right here on California Championship Wrestling. And speaking about wrestling, you come on back next week because we're going to have more action than you could ever imagine. I'm BR, Barry Richards, and this is Professor Tora Tanaka, personal friend of Chuck Norris. 